Hey guys, what's going on? Stormrunner36 here, and today I have a live Black Ops 3 domination gameplay commentary for you about the HVK. Now, I've been seeing a lot of uh, a lot of games, a lot of videos about, you know, the best assault rifle, best SMG, you know, the god guns, whatever you want to call it. I And I haven't seen one about the HVK, and I really enjoy the HVK. It's a very good assault rifle. It's... In my opinion, it's that mix between an assault rifle and an SMG that I really enjoy. And uh, you can burst fire it so that it can go long ranges without you having to worry about, you know, recoil or, you know, not having the ability to handle it, you know? And I really, really like this gun. It's a really good gun. I, uh... It's my most used gun, I would say, because it's just my fallback. If I'm ever having a bad game, I just go to this gun and I, I usually turn it around. UAV inbound. Cause this gun it's its range is perfect. They're gone. It ha it just has a really good feel for me. I don't know. I like it because it's up close. The fuck? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Where the fuck did that guy come from? But it's cause it's up, it can be up close and personal, or it can be long range like this, where you just burst it. Now, it it does get beat out long range by other weapons. That's a given. You know, that'll always happen when a close range weapon is taken into long range combat. You know, it's not always going to fare the best against, like, maybe a Gorgon or an ICR, anything really that has that longer range power that... You know this weapon doesn't have but it can have if you control the recoil I really like that's really one of the big things about this gun is that you have to control the recoil because the way it works it's uh it's recoil is very very vertical but that's about it it's really just a vertical recoil so you can oh that's not a dead guy that's the enemy team <laughs> see that's not a situation you want to be in with this gun because you know it just kind of is like, hey, the entire enemy team's there. That's good for you. You're fucked. All right. Anyway, time time to talk more about the weapon. Um, I like to run. I like to run it kind of like an SMG. I run the reflex, obviously, and uh, I like to run stock. You know, I just like I like to be mobile with it, and I like to be able to move with it because it, it has a feeling of an SMG up close, but it has the damage of an assault rifle at range and I I really like it for that reason that it's not limited to one roll and it can kind of do whatever it needs to do and this enemy team is all over the place like I I don't know where the hell to look for where they're coming from they're coming from everywhere it seems like I don't know, it's a little difficult to predict their movement. That's another good, like, tip for this weapon is really predicting movement. Because when you predict movement with any gun, it really, you can you can be a lot better at the game. Because predicting their movement just shows where they're going to be and, you know, what's going to happen. Hmm, teammate spawned here, I guess we'll take C. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Predicting movement is all about, you know, looking on the minimap, where is your team, where is their team. And pretty much making the assumption where could they be, you know, always being alert, that's another big thing. Is that you just have to be alert uh, in certain areas all the time. If that person doesn't know that there's somebody behind them. And I like playing Dom just because I'm an objective-based player and it's easier for me to really figure out where to go in an objective-based game. You know, in a game like TDM, I don't really know where to go. I don't really know where to predict people to be. Like, <laughs> you know, it's all about really what you prefer to do and I really, really like the HVK. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Because, you know, this is just like an average game for me. Like, HVK just, in my opinion, it's a dominant gun. That, that, 
That reject does not help. Oh, hey. I actually got wraps, though. That's always nice. It's always a nice little thing. And the wraps are definitely not as strong as they used to be, which I really do think is a good thing. Because before, in the beta, they were ridiculous. Like, they would just get you so many kills. It was crazy. Now, not so much. Now they kind of, you know, they have like that slide, like they slide when they come around a corner quickly. And they, uh, they don't just go straight for it, you know, they have, they have like a, a little bit of an AI fix, I would say it is. Cause see, look at that, it had a little bit of trouble getting through. So, I mean... Yeah, as you can see, the HVK, I don't know how else to describe it. It's an amazing weapon once you get the attachments unlocked for it. You know, it's the reflex sight, because the iron sights are okay, they're pretty open, but with the recoil pattern, they can be uh, disruptive. So, um, I like to use high caliber because this gun's damage isn't the highest. So with high caliber, you know, aiming higher on the body, plus with the recoil pattern, you'll be able to kill quicker so it you're not at the total disadvantage against high-powered uh, assault rifles up close like the Man of War. Like, I, I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Man of War and be perfectly fine. Uh, the stock, I like to just be able to move while I'm aimed on sights. Like, it's just mobility. You know, I get to move. I get to have a little bit more of a free range of mobility uh, based on... Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> ah, run away, run away, run away. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh boy, run away. It's also got really decent hip fire for a. Uh... That I don't know where the hell you just died from. I don't want to know. Oh hi. Oh. <laughs> that didn't go very well for me. And I'm playing as Ruin here. I don't know. From the beta to now, I just don't feel like I use the gravity spikes enough. Because the gravity spikes are all about predicting where where the enemy's going to be. I don't know. I guess I just feel like I can't do that as much. Except for right there. Because, you know, it tells you when the enemy's taking a neutral flag. Which is kind of weird. Because it's like, why, why should I know? How should I be able to know that that's what they're doing? But, you know, apparently in the future, you can know a lot. Sir, I saw you. I can still see you. And I'm dead. And I like it how SMGs and assault rifles, like, they're not as dominant. Like, certain maps are for assault rifles, certain maps are for SMGs. I like it how, you know, you don't, you don't have to just use one type of gun. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna die here, I already know. Somebody's gonna, they have a UAV, so they're gonna know where I am. Yep, right there it is. Oh, I get turned on. Get wrecked. Uh oh. I don't like this. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the mini map. <laughs> I was not paying attention. This person. Hello. Hi. Hi. See, right there. It that's where it beats out other guns cuz it's just up close fire high, high fire rate and just high mobility in, in general. I really, really enjoy this weapon so, so much. And you know, I, I don't know how I feel about people not using it because I haven't seen too many people use it. So it's like, I feel kind of good because I know I use a gun that, you know, not a lot of people use. And at the same time, it's like I use, um, I don't want other people to use it because it's a really good weapon. And I don't know how the game would be affected if, if more people used it, but I really like this weapon. Uh, it definitely needs certain attachments to feel good as a gun, that is for sure. Oh god, I just got demolished. Yep, right there. there right there's a perfect example. You, it still can't beat SMGs up close, which is good. Because SMGs should be dominant up close. So, you know, it's kind of an obvious thing. But, you know, if you burst fire it, it can be like a laser. And it's amazing that at range, this kind of weapon that feels more like an SMG can just shred people. And I love that feeling. Because then it's like I'm not at a disadvantage up close. And I'm not at a uh, disadvantage at far range either. You know what I mean? 
I'm kind of, I'm kind of like a well-rounded soldier now. I'm not gonna win every fight up close, and I'm not gonna win every fight uh, far away. Like, see, right, th like SMGs really up close are still gonna beat me because they have the tighter hip fire spray than what I have. So, that guy, that guy likes smoke. He really likes smoke. And this map, I, I kind of like this. Hello. I kind of like this map. Uh, it's very reminiscent of Studio from Black Ops 2. You know? You know, very three lane. Like it has really, really obvious lanes. I was worried he was going to have reject because I know that's what that guy's using. Uh, but very obvious lanes. Uh, just straightforward, really no flank routes except for where it connects in the middle. There, there's people like, Ooh! Ow. I do see a lot of people using uh, the Man of War and the XM. The XM is a very, very strong gun that I've seen people using. Like, ridiculously strong. And I don't really know how I feel about it. Uh, I see. I it's like I don't even react anymore. I've played with the HVK for so much. Like, look at look at that scoreboard, forty seven and fourteen. I outclassed my teammates by almost double their score. It's crazy. Like the HVK is so underrated. I don't. I mean, I don't know. I just don't get why more people don't use it. It's a really fucking good gun. I really like it. Yeah, go back to boot camp. <laughs> These taunts at the end are ridiculous early. I think the other ones are kind of weird. Like the ones that you get from the black market and everything, they're kind of weird. Oh, well, my dogs are not happy with something. They are not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy either. No one's using the HVK. Yeah, get angry. Yeah, get angry. I don't know. This is an all-day thing. They always get mad and <laughs> bark at nothing. Bark at some people walking in the road. You know how dogs are if you have dogs. If you don't have dogs and you're not a dog person, then you're probably happy that you don't have dogs for that reason, that they just bark at nothing. But, uh, yeah, right there, the reason to use the HVK, it's a hidden beast. It is a monster of a weapon, and I love it so much. So I, re I highly recommend it to everybody who plays this game to at least try it. Maybe it's not the gun for you. Maybe your play style is a little bit different. As you can see, this is my class setup for it. And I use the reflex sight, quick draw stock, and high caliber. It's not that hard. My dogs are going absolutely insane. Holy shit. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to end this video now before they drive me insane. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you'll give the HVK uh, a test run. Uh, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe for more Black Ops 3. And this has been StormRider36, and I'll see you.